Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So what we're going to do today, I get requested requests for this all the time, are some jelly prints. Now this is the, let me see, the jelly, the original jelly plate. There are other gel printing plates out there. Um, of course, you know, you can do some similar things at home with kids foam. I've done I'm rhyming. I've done other videos on that, but we're just going to do um, a couple backgrounds and I'm going to show you a little few uh, tips or tricks for beginners. You can also use stuff from home, um, but we're just going to kind of just going to play for a little bit. I'm not using any uh, acrylic paint in uh, specific. I'm not using folk art or whatever, you know, uh, I'm trying to get rid of these. <laughs> these are the Dina Weekly Media Heavy Bodies. These are pretty old. They're still fine. But, uh, you know, I'm just trying to use up some paints. So these are a little thicker than, like, fluid acrylics. But I'm going to be using all kinds of things. So uh, all kinds of different paints. And I'm just going to show you a few techniques. And then, uh, you know, you can kind of do what you want to do. Now, I want to do a fabric um, gel plate print. Uh, if you guys are interested, let me know down below. Because I want to print some fabric. I'm doing some art uh, doll quilts and whatnot and different quilts. Um, so let me know if you want me to video it or if you don't really care. And then I'll just do it and not worry about it. So let's get going. So I'm going to use some stencils, some different texture kind of things, some things from home, give you a few tips and we will continue on. I have um, printer paper and I have some drawing paper that I had cut into, you know, like eight by 11 size sheets. And so I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in, uh, with, oh, child, with some yellow. And that's all I'm going to do. Now I'm going to use a roly poly. Some of you call it a brayer don't give me crap about it. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to see, I have it. Maybe I should put it on flat. I thought, oh, I'll just try to be fancy. I'm not fancy. Let's face it. Who are we kidding? And I'm going to roll this out. Now you can see that my roller has some texture. And I am okay with that. If you don't like that, by you know, of course, use something that doesn't have texture. But I am a texture junkie. Okay, so I have some yellow down. Now, I do advise for you to have a piece of paper nearby, maybe your an open sheet for your art journal or something, and just for you to roll off because um, you'll get a nice you know, print on there with extra colors and you know, it's fun. Okay. So I'm going to lay down. You'll probably see some stencils that I already have. I'm going to lay that down. I'm going to take a piece of printer paper. You guys have been asking for a lot of different, Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Now let's just do basic because we're going to go beginners because a lot of you don't know what these are. And they are great. These are so much fun. They take up, I mean, I'm in, you know, you got to have a little bit of uh, a setup in the beginning. You want to have your paper, your paints, you know, that kind of thing. So you can see this didn't do uh, much and I'm okay with that, but you can see what it did so far. Are we on autofocus? How did that even happen in life? Oh, uh, it turns on by itself. But you can see it's really, you know, you really get some cool things. And we, we're going to print, keep printing over that. So no worries. Now I'm going to, oh, you know what would be fun? Let's do something. Let's play for a second. Let's do a little bit of orange since that was yellow. Wish I had pink. Oh, I do have pink. Let me take some pink. Again, not giving brands, just telling you basic colors. I'm going to do that. And lightly scorch it around, scorch it around. I don't care if I'm going on the outside. I just want to see something. Okay. 
Did it go where I wanted it everywhere? Probably not. Probably didn't do much of anything that I wanted. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it sideways. Just give it a... And you see how that laid on top and you got some of that in there? See how we're getting? Now, we're going to do more on the outside. Like I said, this is going to be a mixed media paper, but look how cool already. Okay. The excitement never ends here. So I'm going to go in and pull this up. And again, don't lose this. Put this on a art journal page or something to save it. Now, I'm not going to do this the whole time because, or show you because, um, there's just not enough time in the life for me to do that, but you, you see what I'm saying. All right, so I shall set that aside. And, oh, that'll be pretty just to print like that, but I'm gonna give it a second to dry. I don't have too much time that I wanna give it to dry, but I'd like to go over it a little bit and like pick it up with a little bit of white, if I could. Um, oh, what about black? Oh, what about a green? I wonder if that would show off good or light blue. I'll do light blue. I don't know. I kind of want to still a little sticky. You really should leave this dry for like, you know, five, 10 minutes. Do I have the patience? No. So I'm going to do something awful. Do not do this, especially with your heat gun because it could alter the jelly, you know, plate a minute. I'm moving it around very quickly. That's all I want to do. I don't want to do too much because I don't want it to melt. But don't you do that. I'm going to gonna just do a little bit. See how much fun this would be if I was live. Oh, I'm going to roll it. Very easy. And to go over it all. All right, now let's see what happens. Now I'm gonna take it all the way around just to like thin it out just a little bit. It doesn't matter because I'm really not going for that, but let's do it. Now let's take a new piece of paper. Let's lay it down. Let's see what happens. Sometimes I do this to clean off my brayer and to sometimes, most of the time, this is what I do. Oh, please don't. Did you slide? Did you slide? Please don't slide. You could, you know, use your hands, push it around, do whatever you want to do. Okay. All right. Look at that. How pretty. <gasps> that would make a pretty dress. Like, a, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen my stay odd girl. How she's like green and has like, oh, that would be, but look how pretty that is. Now you would, you know, honestly, we could play around and do this without a jelly press, a jelly plate. Um, you know, it, it would take a little bit of finagling, but I mean, this is like the greatest distress page ever. And again, you know, if you didn't have it, you can definitely play around enough to get this, but look how easy and fun, right? That is one of my favorite pages. I'm not doing anything else on that. Now, don't, you don't have to lift this up or do anything. Um, we'll just add it to add some color. Let's do some, let's do a dark purple on top. And you can see when you're trying to go through paint, that one's like, girl, I'm just going to squeeze like that. Um, you know, this does help. <laughs> if you have like older paint that you're like, oh, you know, I want to use that before I start opening other paint. Um, this is a great way to use it. And like I said, you can use a kid's fun foam. Um, you know, it's not exactly the same, but if I can find that video, I'll link it below. And, uh, I say fine. People are like, oh, what do you mean fine? It takes it, like to go through all the videos I have. It's a, it's a bit, it's a much, it's a much. So this is the word love. So if I put it like this and I go to print it, it's going to be backwards, right? Is it? I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to lay it like that. And I, lo I love these diamonds, but I'm going to do half 
And then on the other half, I'm gonna do la la loop. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Okay. And then I'm gonna take another piece of paper, printer paper, cheap. Go to Walmart and get it. And look, then you can sit and play. You can make your own mix, you know, your own scrapbook pages. I think I might have done the love backwards. Look, my brain does not work. We all know. We all know. Illness, medication. This girl is out of it. But that's all right. It's all texture. So you see that. So that's what I'm doing first. But it worked. Okay. I thought it was backwards. Now look at that. Isn't that cool? Just from those three, right? Now you can go in and cut this out. You can do whatever you want. But I'm going to lay to the side, to the side, to the side. You know what? I'm going to go in with another color. I'm going to go in with some yellow and should make a pretty color. We'll see. Let's see what's going to happen if I go over. Girl, why do you do this? Now I probably should use a paintbrush to get it in all those little boops, but I'm not worrying about it. I'm not going for crisp and fresh and Irish springy. You know what I'm saying? I'm more of a Axe body wash girl. I know. <laughs> oh, I get a kick out of my song. Any of you listen to Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, um, any of the old stuff? Obviously, it's before my time, but I just wonder. And what do you guys like? What's like a go to? Or do you have like favorite Christmas? Do you know what I mean? That you listen to every year? Because my husband's a big Christmas music buff. So is Emily. Me, not so much. I'm like, I know it's Christmas. See how that made a nice, like, orange oh, with the yellow and the purple? That's a little twofer for you. Now you just learned that if you mix purple and yellow together, you will get a sunset orange. Obviously, if you play with the colors, more purple, more yellow, you will see. Okay. So we see that. That's just me rolling off. Oh. So it kind of gave us a mix of like a, you know, you see it co it covered in, like it colored in rather, I should say. Covered, colored in the parts that I didn't get on here. I love that crisp against that white though, I will say. So we're going to do that. Leave to dry. And then I'm going to lift up. I'm going to lift up. Look at me fancy, look at me fancy, and then I'll lift it up. Okay, and I'll set these aside to clean later. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a second, and then I think I'm gonna add white. Yes, I am. Now next, I'll show you. Um, I'll I'll use some stamps, and then I'm gonna use a couple things from around the house. Just so you guys get a, you know, an idea. And like I said, I can sit here for about two hours and play on this, but I'm not going to bore you today. We're just going to have a little bit of fun, a little bit of, you know, showing you a couple techniques. And if you want more, give me a thumbs up. Let me know down below and uh, I will do more. Like I said, I'm going to be doing fabric prints. So let me know. I might set up on my kitchen table when I do that. Not a big deal. Uh, just because I have a little bit more room because you guys know how I... I, I work like this and, uh, you know, so everybody close your eyes cause I'm doing something that you shouldn't do. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bum, 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 bum. Lum, la, 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 la. <laughs> I'm so not ready for Christmas. I just want to get thanks through Thanksgiving first. I'm going there with gesso, but of course you can use your white paint. This is going to give a little, oh, do I have white here? I think I almost am empty. I don't think I can get it out of here. I'm not even doing a joke. Cause this will mix with whatever wet paint is left. Uh, if it's purple, whatever, and give us a pretty shade. Do you know what I mean? And you can see, I'm still, you know, when I clean it on the back, this is one of my favorite things to do is just keep a layer like because I can just keep layering, keep layering. But you see how it kind of mixes. I 
And if I push harder, I just don't want it to smudge too much. Look at that. I'll go in with a piece of paper. Lay it down. Give it a push. Too much, but look at that. Grunge City. Look at that. That is Grunge City. And believe it or not, you may not believe this, but there's not one of my hairs in there. <laughs> Just because my hair falls out all the time. It's okay. Oh, I love that. We'll go through those one more time. And I'm going to put another piece of paper on here before I do anything else. Ooh, I love it. I'm going to push with my hands to really get a good print. You can use, I know some people use like a, their credit card or whatever. You can do that. Like if I was doing like this, that kind of thing. I'm not, but if I did now, look, see these wrinkles that are coming. I'm not mad at it because they will add texture. If the God's willing. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I can't even stand it. How much I love it. And I'm going to tell you lately, I go through phases. We all do. I'm digging the white. Like I'm, I'm digging that coming through on a lot of the backgrounds that I do. She is rhyming up a storm. Um, so I really do love that. Um, I don't know why, what's getting out, you know what I mean? What got into me because I'm like, boom, boom color, but I'm liking the white. It breaks it up. It just gives it this really cool look. And like I said, when I'm done, um, in a minute, we'll go through all of them and I'll show you them one more time up close so you guys can see, but I want this one again, because we're going to go, although this is delightful, I might do something on top of that. I don't know. All right. So let's say, oh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of over that at the moment, but I don't, you know, I could print, but maybe I want a little bit more. I'm going to take a little bit of green and I'm just going to dab her around. Okay. And this is happy green. This is one of my new favorite colors. Okay. And then next I'll do a couple stamps, which I'll do one technique that I like too, but or maybe I'll do it on here. Let's see. All right. So you see, we have our green right? And then the other stuff underneath, I am going to lay this down. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is take a stamp that has some texture. I'm not worried about this came in kids, um, like the bath stuff in the kids section of the dollar store. You get like all these little foam things and whatnot. Um, but you could see like on here, there's texture. So maybe I'll do this. And maybe I'll do this and then, you know, stamp off on something if it, I feel the need to. Um, we have some lines. Again, stamp off if you want to. We can use something like this. It just gives you different texture. Excuse me. Can you move out of the way? Okay, again, stamp off if you want to. I've got a little, oh my goodness, little kitty cat was trying to run away, but he's not going to run away. Because I'm putting him there. Oh, little kitty cat, go. Okay, this is little feetsies. And then this one has a butterfly and it has different textures. And then I'll just click it where there's none. I think we got pretty much all of it. Okay, and then can do one of two things. I can print now or I could lift this up. I mean, look at that delicious. That is a print on itself. I'd have a canvas sitting here and print right on there. That is a delicious grungy background. Oh, Kelly Kelly. All right. So you see very cool, right? You could put little words, breathe, love. 
And then what, I'll, what I would do if it bothers you, not wiping off stencils or, uh, you know, stamps, just give it a, just give it a little boop just to get that extra wet off. If you don't want to, you know, you don't have something to print off on. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. I really want to get to it in the mail. Let's see if we can get the rest of that bad boy up. Ready? Let's pull this way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Grunge? Yes, that's what that is. Look at that. Look how pretty. And you can see, if you really look, you can see the stencils and the diamonds and the word love and, and all that in it. And it has those little stamps. So, I mean, we got a lot of layers here starting. So that's pretty fantastic. I'm going to take just this piece and see, you know, if, if any more comes up. There's a few little pieces in there. But I think you're getting the point of how to do the stamps and all too, right? Not much came up. Okay. So that's that. So then I'm going to throw a color down. We're going to do stamp. Did I do all these colors? <sighs> I did green. I don't have too many of these. Let's do blue. Get out of there, you little, little piece of hard paint. Goodbye. Okay. Again, we're rolling. Oh my. I, did, I forgot to roll off the green. But that's okay. We're going to go with it. Because this is not about being perfect. This is like a perfectionist nightmare, I think, <laughs> doing these. Because you don't, you know, I mean, it, it is, you're up to the the uh, press, the jelly plate. But, you know, you can really get some cool stuff and really have a good time um, playing. So stamps, stamps. So where must they? Oh, my stamps are right in front of me. Okay, let's not discuss that. Okay, so you just give it a little tap, little, little bit, and then a left. And you can see I kind of smudged it. You, you won't. You got. You're, you're good at it. And then you would just go in and stamp. Now something that you would do that you could do is like I've done with the others, put a lighter color underneath of it uh, or on top of it. Um, so when you pull, you get, you know, all the, the good things. Look at that. I love that print. I'm just going everywhere. I like it. I like it. Okay. Okay, and you, like I said, you got really good prints here that you could print. Print on the bottom here, so you don't waste it. And you're just adding more. Oh, my dog's getting up, walking around. That's never gone. Watch out, baby. Here, go ahead. You want out? Go ahead, sweetheart. There you go. Poor dog. Okay, so you see that, and then what color should we do on top? More white. Hmm. I'd love to do black, but I think black would be too much for that. Nope, he's coming back. Okay, uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of white. What the heck? I go through a lot of white paint and a lot of gesso when I don't when I need to go. I'm just too lazy to go grab. This might be mushing it out a little bit too much, but that's all right. We're still going in. Okay, so you see we got this. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to use some at home things, right? So we have, of course, our canvas. You get this at the craft store. Dollar store even has this for needlepoint. Never overlook this because this stuff is great. You just give it a push. And then do your best with your cruddy hands. Look. Again, print off so, you know, you're not wasting all that delightfulness. And then I have 
these, which I, I think I've shown you guys before, these came in a package that I got delivered from Amazon or something. And I was like, well, I'm not throwing those away. Not so much for the shape, but I love the, um, I mean, I love the shape too, but I love the corrugated cardboard. I mean, come on, <laughs> look at that. That's the smaller one. And then of course this is the bigger one. Look at that. We're making a big, we're going to do a fachada. I call it a fachada mix. Now you can get the kids fun foam. You guys know I've been playing with this forever. You can get this at the um, dollar store. You can get it at the craft store. It's just kids fun foam textured. I should have grabbed all of them, shouldn't I? I just, I was like, oh, I'm not going to be a long time. I don't want to. Okay. So look at this. I mean, come on. Let me just bring this close to you. Okay. While I rip all the wet paint off. Look at that. Okay. So then let's do, let's do a pink. You can tell I stay at the same. Maybe we'll do black. No. This is my way of drawing. <laughs> dry, baby, dry. Maybe I'll do a little black and a little gray. Why not? I'll just do certain areas. I'll do like corner to corner. Yeah. So we're not too much. And this is still wet. So that'll. Oh, that's not black, Cal. That's the blue. That's Prussian blue, I believe. Oh, oh yeah. That was such a good mistake. Look at that. Look at that. I think it mushed out that texture, but I'm okay because I'm just going to go back in and do more texture. Bloop, 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 bloop. And if you make that noise, all oh, that make it good. Boop. Okay. Okay. Where was the other thing at? Okay. So then I have so many things. You guys saw this from the chocolate covered cherry. <laughs> Just making some lines. Maybe you want to write something. Maybe not. It's up to you. It's all yours. And what else? I had a bunch of stuff sitting here and then I must have went blank. These I love using because they're paper doilies. You can get these at the craft store. They come metallic, you know, which are more coated than this. But I love it because it soaks up the paint. So you're kind of coloring it too. And I could leave it on and print and you would get that through it, those little colors. But I mean, and then look, you're starting to coat it. I love it. I'm going to do a little bit half up here. Boop. Didn't do anything because it's too fast. But that's all right. But look, what are these called? Paper clip. No, that's not paper clip, a clip. <laughs> so we could do hi, babe. Uh, no, I don't want to hold you right now, honey. Just let mommy finish. Oh, poor baby. Poor Spyro. I mean, look at that. And if you go clean this ever so often, you know, where you'll get some of that paint off, you'll be able to get more going. Okay. I mean, that's an at home thing. I had a bunch sitting here, but that's all right. We'll do other videos. I'm not gonna um, fuss too long, you know, make you sit here forever. Where's the one thing? I, I love taking tissue paper. And just, this is just like a little piece of fabric, not even fabric ribbon, it's tissue paper ribbon. But I'm gonna just kinda go in, get a little bit of texture, and then I'll roll it again. Mm, 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 mm. You wanna draw, take the back of a paintbrush, and we'll just do right here, cause I'm not gonna. And then you got a heart, wipe that off because I'll grab that later. And then what happens? I'm a mess. So, I mean, really we could go on and on and on. You can use, I have my um, tape, my empty tape thing. Where'd the other thing go? You know, you can use a lid and get circles. So you don't have to have all the fancies. I can go through all my 
at home stuff, all my homemade stamps that I've made, you know, all that kind of stuff. And you could really have different prints and never have to worry about it. So you see, okay. So then I'm gonna take, let's do a butterfly. And this is gonna keep, you know, mark out something. So I'm gonna do that here. So when I go to print this, that part will not come up because that mask is masking it. And that's a good thing for your masks. Maybe you don't exactly know what to do. I like to use them when I use sprays and stuff. All right. Okay. Oh, looky. Look at that. I mean, come on. And like I said, there's the heart I did. You know, you didn't have to do that. I just wanted to show you. But I mean, you can see where the caps are. You can see the um, binder clip. You can see the, the, you know, all the different little bits and pieces of the layers. I mean, come on. How can you just not love it? Then you can go in and, oh, you can go in and pull up. We have that. We can also print. Let me get a piece of paper. Now, this is just plastic, right? Like that you, hard plastic. And you can really, you can see how you could really have fun playing with this. I used, I had a video where I used um, plastic. It's like, I want to say, not PVC plastic. Um, oh, what's the plastic? Is that Pyro? No, that's not Pyrex. I'll think of it. But anyway, I used that. And I can't think of the name right now. <sighs> I'll try to find that too. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to clean my brush, my roly-poly. Oh, what is that name called? Oh, the hard plastic. Oh, you guys know. You buy it at the Home Depot or the store. And look how pretty. Just that. And like I said, you could see the white coming through. Or I'll even go one more time on here with... Huh. I'll tell you what I would like to do is... Let's do a little blending gel. Let's see if that wets that enough to pick up. What particle board? Oh my God, it's going to drive me nuts. All right, let's see what we can do here. One more piece of paper. So it should help me clean this now. And look, I'm just real quick. See how we're starting to color this? Now this was gold, obviously, but you could really, you know, make this a nice mixed media piece to glue down in your book once you get a few more colors on it. And that works uh, well too. So, okay. Gave it to us all over. I'm giving some of my baby. I mean, look how pretty that is. Look at that. You could probably do a very light spritz of water, but I mean, you can see the just how it like blended it around. Very pretty. So then, you know, I could clean this off and all that, and we're not going to do that right this second. I'm going to show you these. And then let me know down below what you think. And if you want to see more, like I said, I will set up way better. But I just want to do this. I get these asked to do these all the time for beginners and whatnot. And that's what I thought I would do today. So that's the one we did. I love it. I can go over this now with like some pink or I could even do another print of another color. Like if I wanted, I'm not going. Oh, I will. Let me do one more thing because I can explain it. What color do I want to go on there? Let's do some pink. Let's do pink in that blue, that dark blue. Let's see what we got. What are we gonna do? That, and I love this. It's Prussian blue. Oh, I love it. Just a little bit though, because that is a dark shade. Okay.
All right, and I'm just gonna, I don't wanna mix it, like over mix it too much. I like the separate in the colors. I'll leave it like that. Let's take this. Let's just lay it down. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I like it. A little too dark. It went a little too dark, but I still love it. Like you can still see underneath. It's just layered. But look at that. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. Okay, so that's one. And then we have this one, which is so cool. Then we just have the print of the butterfly, which I probably could just do this to lift off the rest. Okay. Okay. And then we have this print, very pretty. Taking these off. I still like this, the first one. I'm not mad at this one. Look at that. I really like that. A little bit of green in there could have been very 70s. Love this one. I don't think there's one I really not, I don't like. And we have this one. And really I've been here, what, 25 minutes? And we made all these and they look different. There's not, you know, the colors are different. It didn't take much to do. And we have that one, this one, which this would be a great, uh, oh my goodness. I was like, what, you know, but we could uh, cut this out. You can make that an ATC background and then you can doodle in it or put something on top. This is one of my favorites. Look at that. So, I mean, we made all these papers. Um, and now I can just put my stuff away. Very simple. And, oh, look, looks cute. And then I could rip them apart and use them in my art journal on paintings, ATC cards, whatever I want. So let me know down below, like I said, what you guys think. I had a blast doing it. I love, uh, I love doing the jelly plate. Like I said, it's, it's a lot of fun, I, especially when I get things like this. I mean, this is, I want to like frame that in my living room. I love it so much. So, you know, that's always fun too. Let me know what you think. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Very fun. Very easy. I will try to link down below and at the end of the video, um, using other items to, to get a similar look. Uh, but if you want newer videos and that kind of stuff on it, let me know. And let me know if you want to see the fabric when I do it. Okay, guys. I love you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.